Welcome to the mysterious and fascinating world of the Thaumaturge. Today you'll see a few fragments of a quest that will take place in the upcoming game. The Thaumaturge is an isometric RPG set in an alternative 1905 Warsaw, where history crosses paths with fantasy. During this quest, we take on the role of Viktor Szulski, the game's main protagonist, who must help a fearful woman flee the city. Svetlana is a member of the Tsar's court, and her disappearance might raise questions from some dangerous individuals. Scared for her life, Svetlana reaches out to Viktor for help. <clears throat> At the Imperial Hotel, where they are supposed to meet, Viktor encounters the agents of Ochrana, the Tsar's secret police. A fight ensues. Apart from fast and slow physical attacks, Viktor can also use his unique abilities to influence an enemy's focus and have a chance at executing stronger, spectacular attacks on them. The main power of the Thaumaturge is dependent on salutars. Otherworldly beings only practitioners of this mysterious art can see and interact with. Every salutar has a unique skill set. For example, Bukavac specializes in brutal attacks that will get stronger as enemies grow weaker. Veles, on the other hand, can help Viktor in seemingly hopeless situations, but at the same time forces you to kind of gamble on our hero's life. Once the fight is over, we can proceed with the story. Be on the lookout, though. Exploring the world of the Thaumaturge comes with plenty of additional benefits. Viktor can use his perception to find some interesting items in the surrounding area, and, what's even more important, read the emotions attached to them by their owners. This could prove useful further down the road. For now, let's talk to Svetlana. Viktor, I need to flee the country. Do you understand? I can arrange that. To help Svetlana escape, Viktor must talk to his friend who has connections with Warsaw's criminal underground. For this purpose, our hero visits the infamous London Bar. Before we go forward, let's explore a bit. Our curiosity paid off. Investigating a few items found in the bar gave Viktor a chance to earn enough experience to improve his thaumaturgical skills. In the Thaumaturge, you level up by allocating the acquired Thaumaturgy points to one of the four dimensions. Heart, Mind, Deed and Word. These can be very useful as the game progresses. In time, Viktor gets better at influencing other people, fighting and even observing the surrounding world. Each skill Viktor has can be upgraded at any given moment, making progression in the Thaumaturge quite a unique experience. Now, let's get back to our quest. Abauritsi Niedzic is the owner of the London Bar and a childhood friend of Viktor, yet despite this, you should be careful when dealing with him. We had one as long as you paid your dues. Whenever I see you, you're torturing somebody. Is there something you want to talk about? Please! Don't let him! I only owe 12 rubles! Here we are facing a few dialogue options. Choosing different ones may impact the story ahead. You'll make it up to me. Every kopieka. Humoring Abauritsi might help us reach our goal faster. At the same time, the consequences of making other people's lives miserable might eventually catch up with us. I'm looking for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna. On the double quick. I know a man. Javier... Javier something or other. You know where I can find him? You should talk to Forman Romek. He usually recruits day laborers in the Povishle district. He knows everybody there. We are off to Povishle in search of the smuggler, Javier. To move between the city districts, Viktor can utilize a few means of public transport, including carriages and trams. Back in 1905, Povishle was one of the most dangerous districts of Warsaw. 
If we were vigilant earlier in our story, things could potentially be much easier for Victor now. For example, when we encounter policemen guarding the entrance to the wharf, we can resort to violence again. I'm sorry, but I need to get to the wharf. And how do you intend to do that? Yet, if we took the time to search the bodies of the Ochrana agents earlier, we might find an ID from one of them. This item will be useful in dealing with the local police at Powiśle. Sergeant Karash, I'm here on official business. The Flatfoots are gone, but I got a hunch I'm gonna have trouble with you. Interesting hunch. Searching a few locations and after a long investigation, Victor enters an underground fight club. Here we meet Ariel Rofe, the leader of the smuggler ring in Powiśle. As you can see, Victor spots a saluter just behind Ariel, which means he's a thaumaturge too. Welcome to the dungeon, a mecca of gambling and violence. Now we're off to fight more battles where we can apply the strategies we learned before or try completely new ones using other salutars available to command. As mentioned before, not all encounters in the Thaumaturge must be fought and this one is no exception. That said, a victory here will lead us to meet Javier himself. Good to meet a friend of Ariel's. Now you can help Svetlana escape her pursuers. Will Victor succeed with our help? Find out soon enough while playing.